Eleven years ago, on January 27th, 2010, I watched the first, my first ever episode of Brain Surge, which was episode 129. I only seen the episode one other time, which was the rerun on March 10th, which I have here. So let's relive this episode or rewatch this episode and see how well I do. Let's go. The game show where you don't have to know anything to win. Here's your host, Jeff Duffin. Uh, what's going on? I'm Jeff, and welcome to Brain Surge, the show where all you need is a great memory and super concentration skills. Let's meet today's brainiacs. Okay. Nathaniel wants to be a weatherman. Today's forecast: sunny with a chance of slime. Kanoe is a Tahitian dance champion who loves the hula. Let's see those hula hands. Claire collects elephants. She must have a really, really big closet. Giovanni collects toy cars and airplanes, but can he say toy boat five times fast? Matthew styles his hair in the wind outside the car window. Maybe he's going to open a drive through salon. And Allison collects every card she gets and puts it in her scrapbook. I hope she put mine in there. One of you guys... Okay, I'm going to skip this a little bit. This first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to oh, see I things joke at the beginning. quickly. You're going to use that special game pod you got in front of you to lock in your answers. At the end of this four. level, the four of you with the most points are going to move on to level two. The rest of you are going down the brain drain. Let's kick things off with a ten-point puzzle. Here we go! I'm about to show off the latest in sleepwear. Pay attention to the pajamas I model. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. And here's the fourth one. Which of these pajamas was I not wearing I before? Oh, it's true. There's no puppet on. Can I be honest with you guys? Usually a pair of boxers and socks are going to do the trick. Maybe something to cover my eyes. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. It was two. Yeah. All right. Let's see who got it right. Nathaniel, Claire, and Matt, congratulations. You just got yourself 10 points. I'm ready to give out 20 points. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I remember this from the... Uh, Check out these promo. cards. Which number from the bottom row does not appear okay, in the top one, row? Okay, it's that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no eight. If you think you got this one right, do this to the camera. Put the nose up. All right, everyone's in. Thing. Everyone's in for 20 points. Let's see what the correct okay, answer Nathaniel, is. You can stop. We do a little reshuffle. Yeah, it was yeah. eight. All right, let's see who got it right. Giovanni, what the heck is correct? Are you All right, your let's way? focus. Here's the next puzzle, and it's worth 30 points. Last you weekend, I fell asleep on the beach, and someone yeah, painted focus, a guys. number on my chest in suntan lotion. <gasps> okay, uh, three, seven, two. What was the four, number two. on my chest? I need to make sure my white actually works this time. All right, enough about the numbers. Did you guys see my you muscles? Come on. You're way too late. All right, how do we do on this one, Allison? We typed it way too. Okay. Okay. Great. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right there. I wish I could give out points for enthusiasm, because you just got yourself a billion. Right. Let's find out what the correct answer is. Well, we know Nathaniel didn't get it. Uh, he did it way too uh, late. No. Yep. Three, seven, two, four, two. All right, let's see who got it right. Kanoe, Claire, and Matt, congratulations. Give yourself some points. Nathaniel and Giovanni didn't get their answers in on time. Let's take a look at those scores. Tied for first place with 60 points apiece is Claire and Matt. Kanoe following closely with 50 points. Nathaniel with 30. Allison, 20. And Giovanni yet to get on the board. But I got a good feeling about this one, Giovanni. It's worth 40 points, and I know it's yours. Take a look. These snowboarders are about to race down a serious mobile course. Count how many jumps each of them does. Okay, we got... Oh! 
for them. One three two. Three three two. We have a winner. Two, four, two. So, how many jumps did the winner two. do? I understand it now. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, this is a nice. replay. Keep your eye on our winner. There he is. He's got two, two jumps. All right, let's see who got Giovanni, it right. Giovanni, it was not an option. Matt's the only one who got it right. Give yourself 40 points, Matt, courtesy me. This next puzzle right here is worth 50 points, so focus. Check out my bedroom. Yeah, it's pretty messy. Jeff, clean up your room! Okay, Mom. Take a close look at the things on my desk. I'm going to move one of them somewhere else. Which one of these the things did I just move? There are messy rooms, and then there is that room, which I call a disaster area. Kanoe, you have a clean room? Yeah. I'll take that as a yes, Jeff. It is spick and span. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. Okay, six minutes. It was one, the sandwich, which I'm I always keep a fresh unwrapped this. sandwich in my room. Let's see who Giov got it right. Giovanni, really? Kanoe, Nathaniel, kind of Claire, Matt, Allison, congratulations. You got yourself 50 Claire? points. All right, let's take a look at these scores. <laughs> Matt, you're leading the way with 150 points. Claire with 110 points puts you in second. In third place with 100 points is Kanoe. Nathaniel, you got 80. Allison, 70. And Giovanni, yet to get on the board. This wow. is our last puzzle, guys. The four Giovanni of you with the stuck. most points at the end of this level are going to advance to the next on one. This. The other That's two are going down. As a kid and the brain drain. This puzzle right here is worth 100 points. And here it comes. These girls are playing some volleyball. Well, Keep please, track of which girl hits the ball 35. the most times. Which girl hit the ball it's the one or most two. times? I'm gonna go with two. It's one or two, I'm not sure. If two? anyone gets this, I'm going to be incredibly impressed because I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I don't All right, either. let's see what the correct answer is. Uh, it was one. Let's see who I got was it half right. right, though. I knew it was one. Oh, nobody got it right. All right. All right. It's time to find out which four you are moving on That's to level two PM and which coffee. two are going down. The Brain Dream. In first place with 150 points is Matt. Congratulations. In second place with 110 points is Claire. Coming in in third place with 100 points is Kanoe. All right, there are three players left and only one nothing. more slot. In fourth place zero. with 80 points is... Nathaniel, congratulations, you're moving on. Allison, Giovanni, you guys played an awesome game, and before we send you down the brain drain, let's find out what you've won. Congratulations, you won a SpongeBob Nintendo DS oh, yeah. game. Interact in SpongeBob World by customizing each game, puzzle, race, and fight to defeat Doodle Bob. That game was fun. SpongeBob SquarePants game it's like Nintendo that DS. one area All with that, that damn cake. But I can never There's only one way out of here, and it is down the brain drain. Giovanni Allison, you guys ready? Yeah! Let's do it! Come on down, Giovanni! Minds of the test on level two. Don't go anywhere. Now we get to listen to the story now. Okay, time for part two.
the most Welcome back to Brain Surge. I'm talk. still Jeff, and congratulations to these four brainiacs for making it to this level. How was that chair ride? Good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was good yeah. stuff, right? Awesome. Yeah, you were, you were definitely enjoying it. Let's get some more questions and answers, shall we? Matthew, tell me a little bit more about your unusual hairstyling technique. Well, one day I didn't have any product, so... I borrowed some lotion, stuck it outside the car window on 101, and it actually worked. And people said it looked nice. Yeah, I see no problem with that. I mean, dogs love it. Am I right? Mm-hmm. There you go. Awesome. Nice job. Claire, tell me about your elephant collection. I have, like, a hundred, and I've been collecting since second grade. A hundred? Where do you keep these elephants? In um, a trunk? Get it? Trunk? No, anyone. No. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, these aren't real elephants, are they? No. I'm sorry. I was way off. Thank you very much, Claire. Good luck with that elephant collection. Kanoe. Okay, so you were hula dancing in front of 700 people. Tell me what happened. Well, I, I went on stage, and then I was dancing, and then my skirt fell off. Like, it, it dropped right to the floor. How'd you recover from that? I had to keep on dancing, and then people had to come out and help me put on my skirt again. Maybe. Maybe no one noticed. Wait, maybe you never know. Never know. Mm. All right, let's just keep it a secret between me and you. We got it. All right? Okay. Okay. Nathaniel, word on the racing circuit is that you accidentally did some extreme go-kart riding. Yeah, well, I was at a party, and there was just a lot of kids there and a lot of cooler kids, so I was just trying to show off by making a U-turn. And, well, the U-turn really didn't go that well, so I just hit the wall and right. crashed. All right. Well, it was, uh, sounds like you were definitely the hit of the party, then. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Very good. Good luck with that. Hi. Thank you. Can't wait until he gets his license. Enough of the chit-chat. Let's get to the gameplay. Level two. Let's see my All right, guys. On this story. level, I'm going to share with you a story from my big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. Have you guys read it? No? Don't worry about it. I'm going to read to you. On your feet, it's story time. Listen and pay close attention to the story I'm going to tell you, because afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions about it, all right? Now remember, everything that I'm about to read you from this book is absolutely true. (laughs) Believe it or not, I used to have a lot of phobias. Here are just a few things I had irrational fears of over the past few years. Small places. That started when my sister made me spend the night in her dollhouse. Heights, that's why I always sit in a beanbag chair. The dark, which is why I never blink. The water, it's so, so wet. Public speaking, just got over this three minutes ago. Flying, even frequent flyer miles freak me out. Fake snakes, for some reason the real ones don't bother me at all. Spicy foods, all began with the jalapeno incident. Giants, my dad used to read me Jeff and the Beanstalk. Bananas, enough said. Dirty clothes, let them pile up and they'll take on a life of their own. Flying computers. <laughs> Guys, you know it's only a matter of time. Angry babies, sure they're cute and adorable, but turn your back on them and look out! Sprinklers, can't we all just get along? Baby crocodiles, has anyone seen my hamster? Paper shredders, whatever happened to just throwing things out the normal way? Spaghetti, don't even get me started on linguine. Shopping, actually all guys have a fear of this. Drains, I've seen what goes down them, including brains. And finally, the fear of having a ginormous head. Some fears aren't so irrational. That's That's my story, guys, and it's all true. All right, one at a time, well, I'm going to ask you guys to just it was repeat one of the fears you heard from my list. To lock in your answer, have a seat if you hear this. That means you're right if you hear this. Claire, could you please demonstrate by having a seat? Oh, you're going to want to hang on for the ride. We're going to keep doing that until we're down to two players. Are we clear? Matt, name a fear. Water. Water, have a seat. You got it. Stand up. Claire, over to you. Bananas. Bananas, have a seat. Very good. Kanoe. Fake snakes. Fake snakes, sit and hold. Very good. Nathaniel, over to you. Water. Water. You already said that. Oh, hang on, buddy. Water was already said. Matt, over to you. Flying. Flying. Very good. Claire. Mm. Any 
answer. Time is running out. Uh, Throw something out there. Anything? Oh, sorry, Claire. Have a seat. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> Matt Canoe, congratulations. <laughs> It's time for a knockout round. Knockout, a knockout round. round. I'm going to kick it up a notch right here behind those numbers of pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you're going to stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize this board, and that 10 seconds starts now. Yeah. All right, did you guys get a good look? All right, Matt. Start us off. What number is your first number? One and nine. One is his first and? Nine. And nine. Let's get them off the board right now and you can understand why I was afraid of those. Kanoe. Seven. Seven is her first number. And eight. And eight. You got yourself a match. Back to you, Matt. Give me your first number. Three. Three. And eleven. And eleven. Okay. It's a match. Kanoe. Ten. Ten. And six. 16. And 16. You got it. Matt, pressure's on. 15. 15. 5. And 5. You got it. Kanoe, over to you. 4. 4. 13. And 13. Oh, not a match. All right, guys. This means we are in sudden death territory. The next correct match moves on to the final round with the title Brain Surge Champion. Matt, what's your first number? Pick two. One. Two. And 13. 13. And yeah. 13. Matt, you got yourself a match. You're today's Brain Surge Champion. Congratulations. You know, you played a great game, but you know what has to happen. Have a seat and hang on. Matt, congratulations. You're moving on to the final round chance at thousands of dollars in prizes plus Small a chance to get a slime. Let's see what Nathaniel, Claire, and Kanoe won for making it this far. Congratulations! You've won tickets to Medieval Times. Inspired by an 11th century feast and tournament, guests are served a four-course medieval feast as they watch knights joust and display tests of skill. There's only one way out of here and it is down the brain drain. Nathaniel, Claire, and Kanoe, are you guys Oh, he's out of here! Nice! Four! Claire! Here she comes! And she's out of here! Kanoe, you're up! See you later! When we come back, we'll see if Matt can find the paths to victory on level three. Don't go anywhere! Welcome back to Brain Surge. I am Jeff. This is Matt. You cleared the first two levels. How you feeling? Good. Feeling pretty good. Well, you better feel good because you're about to face the final stage where you could win thousands of dollars in prizes plus a sliming you'll never forget. Level three, the final stage. All right, Matt, this level has three parts, each one more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right squares. For example, if you step on the right one, it does that. The wrong one, it does that. Then you're going to have to come back here and start all over. Now, mm -hmm. once you complete the first path, you're going to want to stop the clock by stepping on that button right up there, all right? Then the floor is going to expand to a 5x5 five five grid where the second path will be revealed. Complete that path, and then you will be faced with the hardest path of them all. The six by six grid. Echo, 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 echo. And here's what you could win. Complete the four by four and win video eyewear. Worn like glasses, music, AV 230XL, optically project your iPod or iPhone into a virtual 44-inch personal home theater. Music, oh, AV 230XL, works with any video source. Complete the five by five and win a Schwinn bike. These Corvette and Sprite Cruiser bicycles feature full wrap fenders, 24 inch wheels, dual spring saddle, coaster brakes, and a kickstand from Schwinn. Complete the six by six and win a San Francisco getaway! Stand the Radisson 
Fishing Fisherman's Wharf on San Francisco's waterfront. Dinner for four at Bubba Gump's, a tour of the Wax Museum, and a trip to the Aquarium of the Bay. All right, Matt, what do you say we put 90 That's seconds on the board, soccer style? Fun. Here you go. Boom. There it is. Nice job. Okay, take a look. Here's your first path. You are going to see it twice. Same one people had before. And the clock will start when you make your first step. Good luck, Matt. He's off. Oh, he's smooth. Hey. Stop the clock, Matt. Stop the clock. Yeah, dude. And just like that, you won yourself some movie glasses, and it only took seven seconds. And that's how it happens yeah. around here. As promised, here's the five Whatever. by five. Take a look at this path. It's okay. for the bike. Oh, this is the one Cody had. You know, here it comes one like more time. Um, in the video, I said 115. It was actually 129. So. And like last time, the clock will start when you make your first step. Good luck, Matt. The audience is loving it. They're into Matt's smooth moves. Oh no, come on, Matt. Here it comes again. Take a look. All right. He got about halfway on that last one. There he goes. Looking good so far. What next? What next? Oh, you gotta stop the clock! Oh, come on, man, buddy! Keep it down low! That's what you get for a bike! The low high five! That doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but here is the 6x6 grid. Take a look at this pack. Oh, I remember this. Is this. For all yeah, the marbles. San what? Francisco yeah, and little, the sliming. Um, it's so good. Nice you want it. It's like half the grid. All right. 63 seconds. Plenty of time. He's One, off. Two, three, Making quick work of the top. Nope. Oh, no. You look good. You look good right off the start. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Time's running. Time's running. He's got this first part down. Oh, yeah. Six new brand new go head to head to head to head to head to head. Only on Brain Search. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York. Yeah, you Woo! Oh, bring it in. That's the stuff. Yes. Awesome. Try to get that